Good afternoon. We're going to try another cocktail. Today we're making a 20th Century Limited. I have a chilled cocktail glass, pint glass of ice, shaker top, a locally made uh, barrel aged gin from Baltimore Spirits Company, and white creme de cocoa. I also have three Danessi Emerald Blend Espresso Beans, a lemon, and a cordless juicer from the 1980s. It's cordless, so instead of uh, running off of wall current, it takes the D, in fact, four of them. Interestingly enough, the company that made this used to be located in the Hale Fort, Maryland, about six miles down the road that away. Lemon, cutting board. First thing you want to do is smash your lemon a few times, loosen it up. Cut uh, transversely to halves. And then uh, lean the motherfucker out of your lemon head. Once your lemons are sufficiently reamed, you are going to put the halves aside, toss the top part of your cordless juicer that takes the D in the sink and pour the juice contents into your pint glass full of ice. Then we're gonna take a nice uh, four count of your barrel aged gin. All right, maybe make it a five, five and a half, six. Yeah, okay, I think I'll stop there. White creme de coco is a, a quick two. You're then going to place the top of our shaker onto the pipe glass and shake vigorously. that settles you're going to take the ice that is chilling your cocktail glass and you're going to discard it. You now have a chilled cocktail glass ready to receive the contents of your shaker. Two thumbs to release. Strainer and strain. You're then going to rummage through our drawer for the lemon ejector we should have located prior to starting the video. And then we're going to give up and use a Xylus soft fruit peeler instead. And uh, you just want to take uh, a little bit of the zest off of one of your reamed lemon halves. That looks good. Another piece, sure, why not? And then your three Danesi Italian fourth generation Roman espresso beans as a garnish. And I'll 
I will tilt here so you can have a, a close up of what you should what you're looking at here. And uh, that is the 20th century. Which at the time, I, I, I should point out, was invented in the 20th century. It had a nice forward-looking futuristic name. Now it seems like it's a little uh, old-timey. Still taste it. Cheers.